Hey guys, it's ISO here, and I'm going to show you how to get Mega Snacks really quick and the best way to get them. First things first, uh, obviously you have couch potatoes. Let me show you. You can get these from Mobs and Mirage, Imperia, and Grizzleheim, but I've noticed that the best drop rates are with the Mobs and Imperia for sure, the Calamar Raiders. That's where I got most of my snacks, or most of my couch potatoes. For example, this 60 plot and that 60 plot, this was, both of these plots were farmed, I think in a span of two weeks, by AFK farming, you know, just have an auto clicker, uh, you have your farms, and keep in mind you can do 260 plots if you can get up to 240 energy, and this is a great way to get mega snacks. Oh, and also another thing, you want to get mega snacks as quick as possible, and if you look it up, uh, Couch potatoes take around 4.5-ish days to go from baby, or not baby, from young to elder. So once you get all the likes, and the likes are obviously Pixie, the Red Barn Farm, King Parsley, Litter, Sandwich Station. With, if you have all those likes, you can uh, get them to elder in 5 days. As for, as for how you can get those items uh king parsley you can they drop from certain bosses uh usually you have one from questing uh as for garden gnome you can get that from the gardening vendor in golem court of wizard city uh sandwich station you can buy that as well litter you can buy that as well as the at the bazaar red barn farm you can actually buy with gold in the housing tab it costs one hundred and twenty five thousand gold okay so as for where you can Farm these mega snacks. If you're max level, you can farm them in here. The it's the aerial jungle. Once you enter, you can turn left here, go into this cave, and it'll send you in front of these monkey spiders. These guys actually drop really good jewels. Like, for example, they drop the uh, the power pip jewels, which is really good. And they drop couch potatoes, and they have a chance to drop evil magma bees, but it's very low. Or you can go over here. Um, it's somewhere around here. It's, I think it's this way. You can fight these guys, the Calamar Raiders. And I've noticed these guys have a lot of useful jewels they can drop, like spell-proof jewels or spell-defy jewels, like all those pet talents, pain giver, pain bringer. So yeah, those two mobs are really good for farming if you're high enough level. Oh, and if you're not high enough level and you have access to Grizzlehan, you can actually come to Saverstead Pass here and farm these Troubled Warriors uh, for Couch Potatoes. Just leave your auto clicker on, have an all hit spell, something like Tempest for Storm, and just go to town. There's going to be people farming here as well, so you can join them as well if you want. You know, more mobs, more drops, right? Alright guys, the second way to get Mega Snacks. This is actually the way I farmed when I didn't have Couch Potatoes but I got around to farming them eventually. Second way is to find somebody who has the Winter Bane Gauntlet. Because what you can do is you can go into Winter Bane. Uh, let me show you here. Let me go into the dungeon real quick. You do need uh, two separate accounts for this. Two separate accounts. They could just be level one. You just need them to go in with you. Uh, you go in, you kill the first room, kill the second room and in the third room where there's the two ice mobs where you have to do the puzzle you fail the pr puzzle on purpose then you fight them and they have a chance to drop rank 8 mega snacks which give 25 and the drop rates are pretty high with those snacks from what I know and all you need to do is afk your two characters uh, two other noob characters the level ones in that the puzzle area then all you have to do is go in kill them go into another room Go back to that room and the bosses will respawn. That's another really good way to get mega snacks. Now, another way to get mega snacks is by fishing. But this is like a very niche, like sometimes good type of strat. Because you can actually catch fish to craft like Captain Cantaloupe, not caramel corn, golden wheat bread. And the thing is. The blackberry jellyfish, jellyfish mesh method was really good at one point, but it sucks. And what I've noticed is like the best method is to do this, the Captain Cantaloupe method, when it's uh, unlimited fishing or when it costs no energy, the member benefit, 
what you can actually do is the Sturgeon General, it spawns in Crocotopia in the entrance hall on the right pool. I'm going to show you guys here. And the spawn, it's a rare spawn, but I've noticed that if you sit there for like an hour, you can get up to like maybe 20 of these fish. And each fish is one mega snack, right? So what you do is there's certain fishing spells that you can cast to wipe the pool and make it respawn. And since the fish that we're trying to get, the sturge in general, is a myth fish. And that's the only myth fish that spawns there. That's a good thing. So what you do is you walk up to the pond, this pond right here, this right side of the pond. Go here. Open up your fishing. Uh, what you do is you winnow myth fish. That'll scare away all the fish that aren't myth. And we can see there's none here. And what you do is you just summon. Summon. Winnow. And you keep doing this until a myth fish pops up. And 100% of the time, it's going to be the Sturgeon General. So we just keep going here. Like I said, this is very niche. And like, you should only do this if you're just like really bored or it's like unlimited fishing and you want to make use of that. I did it at one point and in an hour I got up to 20. But you just keep doing this until the fish spawns. The myth fish spawns. And then eventually we'll get one and then you can just craft it. And I think you get this crafting recipe from either the Celestia vendor or the Mushu vendor. There's a pet snack recipe vendor in both of those worlds. Oh, and a quick little tip. If you're wondering what happens if you leave it to auto click and you farm the mega snacks wherever and you're auto clicking, uh, what actually happens is crowns items, even if your bank or your backpack is full, it will go to your bank regardless and it will overfill. So couch potatoes are crowns items, so you'll be good on that. You won't have to worry about it. So once again, to recap, some ways to get mega snacks, couch potatoes, farm them with the Cal calamar raiders or the spider monkeys or the gultures in mirage or if you're low level, the, the troubled warriors in Cyristid Pass and Grizzleheim. Second way to get mega snacks, Winterbane Gauntlet, make two noob accounts, take them in there, AFK in the puzzle room, fail the puzzle, fight them with your main hitter, your main account, kill it, go into another room, come back to that room, and they'll respawn. You just keep doing that until you keep getting snacks, or however long you want. Third way, fishing, which is very niche. I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's okay if you're just bored. But yeah, in my opinion, those are the best three ways to get mega snacks.